Hey guys and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Today we are on the builder base as you can guys see. So um, let's see what we gotta do. So we have our three wins ready to go for some loot. Our baby dragons did complete their upgrade to level 6 so our goal today is to get them to level 7 which will cost us a pretty penny of 380,000 likes which will be a piece of cake with our three wins. So. Let's get our boost going. We have a level 3 clock tower. 300,000 to go to level 4. Might be able to get enough to put that down today. So we're going to get our 3 minute boost, uh, sorry, 10 minute boost going in 3, 2, actually no. We're going to do one attack and then we're going to get the boost going. Okay, so first attack against Nightwing. I know, I think this could be a baby dragon base and you know why? That is because he has no air bombs so that's a very vital defense if you want to defend against air so let's try this right the baby dragon oh shoot did not mean to do that at all i hate myself so much i meant to scroll the screen and i spammed half my baby dragons on one side and they're going to get shit on without their rage well, we're going to get a halfway decent percentage. One baby dragon will take out the air defense. Very nice. Take out the Tesla question mark. Please, I beg. Oh, you're a twat. Oh my god. Okay, why would, the baby, why would this baby dragon run all the way up just to take out the car post? Like, you're literally... I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you're such an idiot. Anyway, 73% one star is not too bad. Oop. It's going to be 8% one star. I like it a lot. So, 78% one star. Decent. And we won, baby. Let's go. 40% one star with archers. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to start up the boost right now. So, we have a 10 minutes left in our boost. And so now we can just fly through attacks and do as many attacks as we can. Just try and push up after we get our wins, assuming we get our wins quickly. So, Boom, there we guys go. Wow, there we go, guys. So this is looking like it, not a baby dragon base. So, check for a building on the outside. There is none. So, let's bring in our standard Jai Barch. And we're going to attack from right here. Get our giant to go from the cannons over here to the archer tower to the firecracker over there and try and get the town hall. So, Let's send spending a couple of those, couple archers, try and funnel in, and then we'll send in our giants one to test for traps, and then we'll send in the other three, send in some uh, barbarians, archers taking out the cannon, barb should now go for the double cannon like they are, send another archer to take out that crusher, because if we can get that crusher down, that's going to be very vital in taking out this base, so crusher's down. Let's send in the rest of our troops. We're looking good so far. We got the 50%. Should be able to get the town hall troops we have left. So boom, 64% two star. Let's see how we're doing. Going to take care of the barracks. 69. I like it. 69% two star. You couldn't ask for any more. Besides the three star, obviously. And boom, we won again. Brings us to 400,000 elixir so we're going to start a baby dragons right now to take advantage of the boost it's going to be a two day upgrade in three two one boom there we go guys baby dragons going to level seven let's go one more level and then they are max for build a hall four so we have another uh army ready let's go find an attack right so this one seems like it's a good base for this army because it's one open compartment so, we're going to go boom, and one, two, three, I'm going to go boom, one on each, and try and take out those buildings, just for some funneling purposes, alright, and we'll send two and two, um, let's try and get those arch uh, one of those archers to go to the hidden Tesla, sprinkle in our barbarians so we can take advantage the most of their rage ability. 
try, okay, we need to get this cold storage, because then they can go to the right, sorry, left. Alright, so we're not looking too good, to be honest, that mega mine really killed us. That archetype needs to stay focused on the giants, which it is, and we're going to take out the builder's hall, plus the gem mine, that's going to give us a 53% two star, going to get the uh, guard post for 57% two star, which honestly is very nice at my uh, level and trophies so we should win this attack I'm not gonna like count my chickens okay if you don't count your chickens before they're hatched kids you're gonna lose um check in uh we're gonna be actually no we are gonna be able to upgrade the clock tower and it's gonna be close what's good yeah we're gonna have barely any loot left after we do so but we will be able to do that this base, this base, I don't like this base. This base does not look fun to take out. I'm feeling we get rid of the barbs. I feel like they're not going to do anything because all the defenses are on the inside. I feel like we run the garch. Okay, we're going to attack from the left side because we don't want to attack from the crusher. Okay, so what we're going to do is this, right? We're going to go one, two, one. Oh, sh shoot. Did not mean to put giants down. Me go, okay, go towards the double cannon, please. Go shoot the gosh darn double cannon, please. That would be helpful. Jesus Christ. Thank you. All right. So now, uh, if you take us elixir storage, put two archers there. That should be able to get that archer tower while we're distracted with some other stuff. Boom. Very nice. Ooh, Mega Mine. Yep, this raid does not go well as I thought. Mm. Okay, so 53% one star. Let's go back home. Hey, we got the victory. Let's go. All right. So if you look, we have 299,837 gold. So once we reach, once we uh, collect from the end of the boost, we will be able to afford our uh, clock tower to level four. Max for build a hall four, getting us. Plus two minutes of free boost, we'll have a 12 minute boost instead of a 10 minute boost to play with. I have a feeling this should be a fairly simple base to take out. Always scout the base, folks. Always scout the base for. Jesus Christ! Always scout the base for troops on the outside. Okay, could you go in the middle, please? That would be quite helpful. Jesus, what is with all these traps? Oh my god. You're taking, oh my Jesus Christ, all right. Well, okay, I'm just gonna take the L on this one because, ugh, this was not no bueno. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. We got all our wins, we're trying to climb up in the cups. Okay, actually, you know what? I think we'll stop after this. I don't want to lose too many cups. We're pretty high in the trophies. This could be our person that could have been a person yeah that was our personal best we were at but we lost it so let's go ahead and collect there we go guys um we can now upgrade the clock tower we're gonna end the boost and we're gonna upgrade the clock tower in three two one six hour upgrade boom boom and the boost clock tower is going down i like it so where does that leave us um we're looking pretty good, right? If you go to the builder, where's the direct man? We got some cannons, we got the gem mine upgrade, but we're gonna focus on lab upgrades for the moment. After we get the baby dragons done to level seven and up to level eight, we will be working on the giants to level eight, and then we will be working on the archers to level eight. Because, and then the barbs, because that's what we use for attacking. Then we'll do the bombers, because they're sort of useful. Sometimes I use them, if you have a base like this, where I have, with the, the two space wall right here, you can throw a bomber in, one bomb will destroy both walls, you can send your giants in that way. Because most people don't expect you to do that, so they don't have a lot of traps over on that side. So it's a, a fairly, it's an easier route of deployment. So, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.